Hey everybody and welcome back. So today's video is something a little new. Um, today I'm working with acrylics and this is the very, very first time that I've done acrylics on my own hand. I've only like tried like maybe one or two times on like piece of paper towel, but that's it. So this powder, the acrylic powder that you see here, I actually made this and this is a glow in the dark powder and in the next video that i'm going to do is going to be an acrylic haul video i'm going to show you guys um how i mixed it and all that stuff so i applied these tips and i believe i messed up whenever i applied the tips because they were actually full coverage tips and when i put them on i just placed them like midway on my fingertip because it didn't fit right around my cuticle so i used those and i think um if i would have just used regular tips it would have been fine but i'm going to show you with this um with my pointer finger the whole process i did on my whole hand um when i did i applied the model model one's um primer and yes it is a uv primer but um i'm going to base everything with a base gel the reason I'm using a base gel is because um, I've seen a lot of videos of girls that have actually used base gel to put their tips on and um, apply their acrylics right over top of it. Um, you know, for like girls that have problems with their tips lifting off and not sticking and not staying, all that good stuff, because Lord knows and that is one of me. Because I don't know what the problem is with nail glue and my fingertips, but I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't seal right. So I'm going to try this method out and see if it works. So I'm just, um, I'm going to trim the nail tip down and I went for kind of like a coffin shape type deal. Um, so I just nipped them off, trimmed them off at there at the top and then filed them into like a little shape that I got. So I hope this base gel method really works because I'm going to be so mad if I spend all this time doing them and a week later they're popping off because that's normally what happens when I use regular glue. They just pop right off and it gets so aggravating. So I really had fun with this set because when it comes to nails or, you know, pretty much anything, I'm pretty much a crafty person. Um, I like making my own things and experimenting with different things. So the whole making the glow in the dark acrylic just really, I don't know, I enjoyed it. Y'all about to see me struggle because I was trying to knock everything off my table and bumping into everything. So I'm just going to forewarn you guys. When you watch this video, you're in about to see some flooding of the cuticles, some bulkiness, some bad technique, all that good stuff. Because this is the first time I've ever done this. So I don't know. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. I think they turned out, I mean, okay, okay, but there's definitely things that I could have done better. Um, they turned out just a little bit too thick. Um, so, yeah. So, here I'm just, I'm taking my drill bit and just smoothing out um, where the tip and my nail meet and then scratching the surface. And, oh, yes, so... I got this Mia Secret No Odor UV Monomer. Um, I got this off of Amazon. And when you look at it on Amazon, it says no odor. But let me tell you, it does have an odor. It doesn't smell like a monomer. It's definitely not a monomer smell. But it definitely has an odor. I really don't know how to explain it. Um, but I mean, it, it was okay to deal with, I guess. Um... But I, I just don't know about it. I don't know. It was kind of oily. Um, 
and I put it in my little um, glass jar and as I was working with it I noticed the longer that it sat on my table it was like gelling there was like this gel film at the bottom of my dish and I'm like what the crap so I mean I don't know so basically you um, you just use it like you would normal monomer but it doesn't dry the only way it dries is if you cure it um, in a UV light and the way I cured it I did it for um, one minute and it worked I mean it did its job but it just I don't know it, it did have an odor um, and it was kind of oily so I'm still on the lookout for a non-odor monomer so if anyone knows of any that is watching this video please help a girl out because I'm on the search it's this little bottle that I got of the Mia, Mia Secret. Um, it was actually, that four ounce bottle was $34. And I think that's pretty dang expensive for four ounces. So I'm kind of on the lookout for maybe like an eight ounce, 10 ounce um, bottle that's hopefully non odor, um, slow drying, because I am a beginner at this. So I don't need anything that's fast drying or anything so yeah i'm on the lookout so here what i'm doing i'm just applying a clear coat to um my nail bed um just to protect the the color that i'm about to apply not to be staining my nail bed um the acrylic that i'm using is actually it's beauty secrets clear acrylic and that's actually from sally's beauty supply um, from my hometown um, you don't have to have a license or you know anything like that to uh, purchase anything from them so I don't know if you could tell but I really have no clue of what I'm doing I'm just kind of you know testing it out Alright guys, so I'm going to let y'all watch me do this clear coat on and then I will be right back. Oh yes, so I forgot to tell you guys, the whole reason um, that I started, you know, to, to work with acrylic, to experiment with it, um, you know, to start doing it is because um, when I did my giveaway video, um, I asked you all things that you wanted to see, and I had a few comments of people that wanted to see acrylics or dip powder, um, there was a few comments of a full demo, um, things like that, um, getting out of my comfort zone, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I think this video pretty much applies to all the above. Um, I'm definitely out of my comfort zone <laughs> because I've only been doing hard gels, builder gels, you know, things like that to my nails. Um... So, yeah, definitely after my comfort zone. Um, first time working with acrylics. So, yeah. And this is a longer video, too. Um, there was a few comments that said they wanted a few, um, you know, a, a longer demo. So, that's why, um, you know, this is a longer video. And you, I'm showing more of the steps, you know, and things like that. But if y'all don't like it, y'all let me know because um, I can definitely make upcoming videos a lot shorter. Um, you just got to let me know what you want to see or what you think, um, all that good stuff. 
and also to all the girls out there that are watching this that um, do acrylics and are used to acrylics, y'all critique me. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Am I doing anything wrong? Um, you know, let me know in the comments. I do not care for critical criticism. So I think when I put this clear base on, I think that I did it just a little too thick. And I think that was part of the issue of why they ended up just a tad bit too thick. Um, I think I overdid it on the clear coat. I think I should have, you know, probably made it just a little bit thinner. And it might have um, turned out a little better. Oh yeah, and also this brush. I do love the brush that I got. I got it from Amazon too. It's a Cats uh, number 8. Um, I've heard things about Panna. They said it, uh, a few girls said that Panna is really, really good. Um, but this one here seems to um, to be really good. I liked it really well. It wasn't too big, wasn't too small for me, um, you know, just starting out. So, yeah, I like it. And I believe it was um, it was four dollars and seventy some cents. So it wasn't that expensive either. So, yeah, I really liked it. I hope y'all aren't getting bored watching me clear clap my nails. <laughs> but like I said, if y'all are let me know please let me know all right so now we are getting into the color so i was just showing you here that once you put them in the uv lamp for a minute um it turns out hard just like it would with a normal monomer but i still wasn't pleased with the monomer so i got these little glitter things here um one is like a star glitter holographic and the other is just um, regular holographic glitter and you were about to see me when I put the glitter um, put it out of the way I actually turn it over so um, what I'm showing you here is actually the glow and dark uh, glow in the dark powder that I got in my Amazon haul video and that's part of the mixture that I use to make this um, glow in the dark and um, for the blue, I used the pigment powder that I got, too, in that haul video. So, the, the whole mixture part of the acrylic, it, I think it turned out good. Um, the color wasn't marbling or, you know, anything like that. It worked fine. So, I'm pleased with it. And the color of it, I really, really love the color of it. It's like that light baby blue color so i really liked it so my plan is i'm going to put this um color on and then let it dry and then i'm going to put some glitter on there and clear cap it and that's that might be part of my bulkiness problem too i don't know but here is where um I flooded my cuticles some, um, and all that good stuff, yeah. So again, if y'all see me doing something I shouldn't be doing, let me know. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to let you guys watch this and listen to some music, and then I will be right back. Alright y'all, so here, I don't know if y'all noticed or anything, but you were just watching me do my pointer finger and all of a sudden it skipped to my ringy finger. That's actually because when I was doing this, I thought my phone was recording, but actually it wasn't. <laughs> so, that's why it skipped there. I don't, you're not delusional or anything, I promise. It, 
I just forgot to record that part, so sorry about that. So we're almost to the end. You're gonna see, um, you're gonna see these glow in the dark, which I thought that was just totally freaking awesome. That just made my whole day. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. I was just really, really amazed with it. My fiance was like, "Oh my god, would you just shut up? I see that your nails are glowing in the dark. I see it. Would you stop asking me to look?" Anyway, I told him it was all his fault because he is the whole reason why I started this YouTube channel and all that good stuff. Because he kept telling me, he said, why don't you just start a YouTube channel? And I was like, um, why would I do that? You know, I watch YouTube videos so I can know how to do my nails. Why would I start a YouTube channel? He said, well, you've been doing it forever, and you're really, really good at it. You should start a YouTube channel. And I was like, uh, I don't know. So I sit around, and I thought about it, and played around with the idea for about uh, a month or so. Then I was like, hmm, maybe I should. So, yeah, it's all his fault. I tell him that all the time. Can't be complaining about me being on my phone or being in the living room recording or anything like that because it's all your fault. You did this. But, I mean, it's, it's good, you know, to have him to support me, you know, and things like that. He's, he's really great, you know, when it comes to, to things like that, supporting me on things that um, I want to do or you know, pursue my dreams or anything, so. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah, I forgot to mention, too, I'm really slow with this, too. So if you want to fast forward it, I don't blame you. So here you're about to see my little nubby thumb. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it out on the corner of my table and do it. I don't know why I did my thumb last. Most people do their thumb first and then work their way to their pinky. I don't know, I guess I'm the oddball. I do my thumb last. I also noticed that for some reason, I didn't show my left hand, guys, because it's hard enough for me to do my left hand off camera. I could only imagine what it would look like if I tried to do it on camera. I mean, that would be an absolute <laughs> horror story. But anyway, for some reason, when I did my left hand off camera, it was like so much better than my right hand. I was like, really? Really? <laughs> I don't know. It just... Worked out that way, I guess. All right, y'all, so be patient with me. We're getting ready to get into the clear coat happiness of the glitter and glow in the dark and all that good stuff.
All right, guys, so the time has come for the clear cap. We're gonna get into that. So what I'm gonna do first, um, I'm just placing the um, glitter on my nails. I'm not really caring about where they go or positioning them in a certain spot. I'm just kinda just going with it. So what I'm doing here, I'm just um, wetting my brush with monomer and then dipping into the glitter and then just placing on my nail that way. And then I'm going to um, use the clear acrylic to go over top of it so that way it stays down. I love this glitter though. It turned out so pretty and it kind of reminded me of like, I don't know, a night sky with stars, all that good stuff. So yeah, anything glitter, anything I'm completely <laughs> obsessed with. I also um, like the idea of making my own acrylic, or not own acrylic, of course I've already made my own acrylic. Anyway, my own glitter mixes. Um, like getting different glitters from different places and just mixing them together, you know, that sort of stuff. So I think I'm going to be playing around with the idea of making a glitter mix video. What do y'all think? Well, if you've survived to the end of this video, let me know in the comments. Would you like a video of mixing up the glitters? Just let me know. Which probably half of you have probably already fast forwarded or went to something else because you were probably like dang this video is too dang long <laughs> but yeah the glitter turned out to be really really nice i loved it really really liked it so hopefully as time goes on and the more that i practice with acrylic the faster I'll be and the better I'll be. I think I'm going to invest in some other tips because the full coverage tips was pretty much all that I had to work with. I think I'll get um, half coverage tips and, and do that next time instead of the full coverage tips. Um, because where the full, the full cover tips actually had like a, a natural apex in them and that's probably um why they ended up a little bit bulky in the middle but yeah i think i'll do that
And also, too, whenever I was clear capping glitter, the reason why you see me putting so much clear coat on there is because whenever I was applying it on my nail, it, it seemed like I was just wiping it all away. And I was like, dang. So I don't, I think that was probably the monomer issue. I think that was probably why um, it was just kind of, you know, wiping off whenever I brushed it down. Um, because it's definitely different than working with a regular monomer. Because when you, do, when you do work with a regular monomer, because I have tried that on, you know, like practice tips or paper towel, you know, or something like that. It, it hardens pretty quick and you, you gotta pat and pull, pat and pull. With this, you really, there's really no patting because if you did pat, um, you pretty much smushed everything away. So, so yeah, that was, a, that was kind of a struggle too. I'm, I'm guessing it was probably where it was kind of oily consistency um that's probably why you really didn't you really couldn't pat it and pull it or it could have been too um i could have been working with too wet of a brush i might have had too much um liquid on my brush or not enough um acrylic powder on my brush to accommodate all the liquid in it, you know, one or the other. That that could have been it too, I don't know. Okay guys, so we're almost at the end of the video. Um, almost to my pinky finger, so. Um, I did fall off camera too. Um, I don't know. I guess I could do um, my because there was a con uh, comment too. Um, I believe from Michelle's Manny's that um, she wanted to see my falling routine. So maybe I'll do a video on um, my falling routine too later in another video. I just didn't want to make this um, this one too much longer than what it already was because um, it's pretty long because I didn't speed it up or you know any any of that so I definitely don't want to make an hour long video so if any of you all have used the Mia Secret monomer um, let me know if you had that problem too with the monomer just kind of gelling up in your dabbing dish because I don't know if that's just a thing that it does or maybe um, where it cures in the UV light if maybe um, it just was soaking up the light in my room or something and was kind of like halfway curing. I don't know, but it was really weird. It made me not really want to get the monomer again and look for something else. That and the smell. Like, like I said, though, that the smell of it, it's just, it's hard to explain of, of the type of smell that it is. Um, it's not a monomer, typical monomer smell, because I've smelled that before. It's not that. It's just, I don't know, it's, it has its own distinctive smell, um, which wasn't pleasant, um, but wasn't to the point to where, you know, you got to open your windows up, put a fan in the window, and evacuate the building for two hours and then come back once the, st the stink is gone um wasn't that type of smell but yeah anyway enough babbling about the monomer
Did y'all just see that I did my thumb last again? That's kind of weird. I never noticed that until I was editing this video. I done my thumb last. It's kind of weird. Because normal people, you know, they start with their thumb first and work their way over. I don't know. That's kind of strange. All right, y'all, so once I get done with my thumb, I'm gonna go ahead and cure everything. Um, I cured everything for a minute. Um, no, actually, it's for a minute and like 20 seconds just to make for sure that um, everything was good and cured. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna file everything off camera and then also do my left hand. Um, so wish me luck on my left hand. And then, um, show you what everything looks like when it's done and here it is so everything's top coated filed all that good stuff um like i said i don't think i did too bad but it's not the best either um there's probably some things that i could have done a little better but the glitter though and the actual um it being able to glow in the dark though that just that just made everything better <laughs> it just really did um because i'm going to show you what they look like and the, when they're glowing in the dark too in just a second but yeah it i think that part turned out pretty dang awesome see look isn't that awesome i just love it i do i just love it love it love it i've been wanting to try those glow in the dark powders forever and I finally did. Yay! So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope y'all are doing good wherever you are. Um, I hope you like and subscribe to me. Talk to you later. Bye!